Before I started keto, I was a musician. So I know a thing or two about being on a budget. I was in a band and we traveled around Australia, but I'd always come back to my share house in Brisbane, earning $150 a week and spending most of that on rent. Today, I'm going to share with you a video that I wish I saw eight years ago when I knew cornflakes just wasn't gonna cut it. So let's get started. The problem with being on a budget is not necessarily just buying cheap ingredients, it's also being able to be flexible and buy things that are on special. So that is exactly what I did when I went to Aldi and purchased all the things like I used to. So we've got some heavy cream, we have some tomatoes, we have some coconut oil, we have some butter, we have some cream cheese, we have some cheddar cheese, we have some feta cheese, we also have some eggs and we have some mince or ground beef, we have some parmesan cheese, we have some almonds, we have two avocados, we have half a cabbage, we have a kilo of bacon, a packet of Brussels sprouts, a packet of broccoli, and also a packet of spinach and some fresh spinach as well. When you get it all home, put together some items or some categories like some dinner ingredients or some sides or some breakfast ingredients that you think you might be able to put together to be creative with all of the ingredients that you bought that were on special. So we're going to start with some Brussels sprouts and these are just some side ingredient ideas. Now you're going to you know, crack some salt and pepper in there and put some dried oregano over them. Use a little bit of the coconut oil that you purchased before. Mix it all together, put it on a baking pan and bake it in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 355 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 to 40 minutes. Now you can store these in a glass container or you can actually store them in whatever you want. But this is actually the easiest way I've found getting it off the trays using some baking paper and just pouring it in exactly like that. You can also do this with broccoli as well. Being creative with these recipes is the key. So uh, this is a recipe I created. It's basically a mix of spinach with some heavy whipping cream and you can add a little bit of Dijon mustard if you've got some in the fridge. Uh, if you don't have any, then you might be able to add a little bit of vinegar, but you put all that together and you cook it and it tastes absolutely amazing for a side dish. So definitely give that one a try. If you're after breakfast ideas on the ketogenic diet, definitely eggs are the way to go if you're on a budget because they're so cheap, they're so versatile and uh, I'm just gonna quickly show you how to make a pretty basic scrambled eggs. You use some parmesan cheese and some butter in there as well. And you're going to cook that very gently on your frying pan just until you know soft peaks start to form in the scrambled eggs. And you wanna take it out as it's still just a little bit runny because it's going to cook a little bit more. Bacon! Make sure you have clean hands for this one. You're going to cook this in the oven for anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes until it's up to your crispiness desire and you should keep the bacon fat in a separate container so that you can use it later on for cooking. Uh, so yeah, bacon is fantastic on budget keto. Ground beef is also a fantastic way to kickstart your ketogenic diet. Make sure you get one that has plenty of fat and you can also add fat later on. Uh, I am adding some garlic here and the tin of tomatoes that we got. Now, if you don't have any garlic, it, this will work perfectly as well. Uh, I'm gonna add some palms and cheese as well. That it, It's actually a really, really tasty addition to ground beef. And another tasty addition to this ground beef mixture is using it with cabbage leaf wraps. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard of cabbage leaf wraps, but you've basically just add them into some boiling water and let them sit there for about 30 seconds until they become you know, pretty flexible, much like a wrap would. And then you just place your ingredients inside and they are a great way to not only get some extra veggies in your diet, but they actually hold together really, really well. Cabbage leaf wraps. Go ahead and try it right now. Eggs for breakfast also work really, really well as snacks. So having boiled eggs in the house is a massive thing for me because if I open the fridge and I'm hungry, having a boiled egg that I can just snack on is super easy. And uh, you know, I've just boiled them here for about six or seven minutes, place them in some icy water, then you can put them in a container and shake them up and the eggshell comes off very easily on the outside. So you can do this 
with multiple eggs at a time and it makes your job a lot easier as well. I always thought I could never afford snacks and dips and those types of things whilst on a budget, but putting a bunch of cream cheese and some heavy cream, a little bit of onion flakes and some salt together and you have yourself almost a French onion style dip that is perfect on the ketogenic diet and you can keep it in a jar just like that. Reusing old jars like this is even great for snacks. I never really had enough money to invest into buying small containers. So chopping up some cheese and filling it with uh, some almonds is a great way not only to reuse your jars, but also to take some portable snacks with you. I always found I felt much healthier having a salad for lunch. Now it's super easy to put together. You just cut up some avocados with some baby spinach there and have some feta cheese and you crumble it all together. Add in some olive oil or some coconut oil that you bought before, some salt and pepper, and it's really done in under five minutes. Very tasty. If you're on a budget, please do not buy coffee from coffee shops every single day. Make sure you're making this at home because you will be saving a lot of money and you'll also be able to add a lot of healthy fats to your coffee like coconut oil and butter. You can put it in a glass jar and mix it with one of those and it is done in under two minutes. It's quick, tasty and delicious. All of these ingredients are gonna not only keep you keto but they are going to keep you creative as well. I really hope you liked that video. Make sure you share it with your friends who are trying to keep keto simple and I will see you next week.